We're here in Nashville, Tennessee with VM Blog at the iGel Disrupt event. And today I have the pleasure of having Christian Brinkhoff, who works for Microsoft. Welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, maybe you can tell us a little bit about your role at Microsoft. Yeah, so I'm a principal product manager at the Windows Cloud Experiences team in Microsoft. And that's the consolidation of a team that was previously Azure Virtual Desktop and Win365. So we are now part of one engineering team reporting up to the Windows and Devices team, which is the organization that also owns Windows, uh, led by Panos Panay that you might know as well. And today at the keynote, you guys were talking about your partnership with iGel. Um, maybe you can explain what, what you're doing together with iGel. Yeah, we are doing great things with iGel. We uh, have been starting the partnership a long time ago, even before Azure Virtual Desktop was released, when it was still Windows Virtual Desktop. Um, we released some Linux SDK, and we were looking for partners that were eager to join us on this journey going to the cloud. And iGel has been a tremendous partner, jumping on board, being very eager, and help Microsoft, and as well, Microsoft helping iGel, developing a like stellar client experience from a Linux endpoint, which is iGel OS. And since then, we have continued this partnership. And now we uh, just announced on stage here the Win365 boot to cloud experience from iGel OS as well to, yeah, to, to a cloud PC. So pretty, uh, pretty amazing partnership. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, and iGel also talked about the, the whole Cosmos, uh, which is new. I was wondering if you could kind of give us your thoughts on how you see Microsoft partnering with iGel in the future and growing uh, this Cosmos product. Yeah, so with, with Cosmos, they really took the angle of simplifying as well from the IT admin side and the end user side improvements in their operating system, meaning that you can now install and, and, and update apps and things all separated from the operating system, which makes it tremendous like like difference with what iGel was in the past. And bringing our Windows 365 app, as well as the AVD remote desktop client available from their store, and use the desktop OS as well next to like a direct boot to a cloud PC, is really a game changing thing. And I heard stories that they are working on things to expand it and make it like adaptive for like MSPs and other kind of things. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to the next phase of Cosmos and making it a platform for yeah, auto partners to leverage and make things easy from the management side as well as from the end user side to like create a game-changing experience to go from the endpoint, whether it's an old device or a new device from Lenovo or HP or all the other partners that are uh, Agile partner, Agile Ready partners, to yeah, boot straight in, into a cloud PC. So hardware as well as software and as well management coming all together as one. Well. Maybe you could go into a little more detail about um, Windows 365 and how you guys are working in the EUC space. Yeah, definitely. So with Windows 365, we do kind of the same journey that we had with Office going to Office 365 and server OS to Azure. We're now bringing Windows to the cloud with Windows 365. And that sets a pretty high bar in terms of our end user experiences. So with the Windows 365 app for Windows, we bring the foundation of our client experience to live with user actions that the user can uh, reboot their cloud PC themselves. They can also reset and restore and troubleshoot their cloud PC all from the client experience. So that's our baseline that we released in Windows 11 and Windows 10 as well. On top of that, we are building three other features that are game-changing features that will come for Windows 365 as living up to that principle of bringing Windows to the cloud with Windows 365. So that's Windows 365 boot, and that allows you to boot straight into a cloud PC from the Windows logon screen. So imagine you log on to Windows locally, and you type in your username and password and MFA, and then you load your cloud PC session straight in, so there's no client experience or whatsoever in between, and you land on your cloud PC from there. And that's like the, the best primary kind of boot to cloud experience we offer in that experience kind of section. But we have as well Switch coming, Windows 365 Switch, and that sits kind of in between. So you have your local PC. Imagine you have a bring your own device. You work for a company as a freelancer, and you get a cloud PC with all the corporate apps highly secure provided to you, that you have your Switch experience on that PC that allows you to switch from the desktops task view integration that we're working on 
in the start menu, uh, on the taskbar, I must say, to straight into your cloud PC as well. So if you imagine you use the desktops feature in Windows 11, you can create separate local desktops. With this feature, you can create a cloud PC desktop that boots straight into your cloud PC. And the amazing thing is that in your cloud PC, you can also switch back to the local PC. So you can go in the same task queue um, yeah, integration, but then switch to the local PC. And then once you're back to the local PC, in just a second, you switch back to your cloud PC. So if you do like collaboration with like tooling and, and apps that are only available in your cloud PC, you switch to your cloud PC. If you have something locally, like a different app or something privately that you want to do, you switch back to the local PC. And there are things that are baked inside Windows 11. So we ship all the bits and pieces, shell components inside Windows 11. There's no friction or client or anything you need to install first or provision or anything is, is gone. So it works with single sign-on. It's like giving you that like principal great Windows experience as part of it too. And that's what we really see as bring your own device kind of use case to switch in between two PCs where boot is primary going straight in. Switch is kind of sitting in the middle of it. So it's a great kind of two options that you can choose as a business, what fits best for you. And with like new capabilities we are working on for mobile management for Windows, you can also secure from that endpoint for bringing your own devices, the connection and, and, and copy pasting like clipboard redirection and all those things as well. So that are two features that we are working on. We are pretty far ahead. Internally, we are already running the, the code. So it's already kind of ready almost to go to customers. And then as part of those four features, like app, boot, and switch, we also work on offline mode. And that's really what we think is a game changer because it opens up a potential replacement of a Windows PC because you can work offline when you work in your cloud PC. So when you work in your cloud PC and there's an internet interruption, it switches back to the local copy of your cloud PC and the user will not see any difference of that. So it's a seamless experience. We will start with a intentional switch, meaning that you can hit I'm going offline and then you're working offline. And after that, we are releasing an unintentional switch to offline, meaning that if you're in a situation that you don't have internet connection or the internet connection is not secure enough based on your corporate policies, that we switch to local and the user doesn't feel any difference of that. And that's the offline mode experience that we are working on as well. That gets rooted inside the kernel of Windows, like inside Windows, it's part of the operating system too. So that are game changing new features that we are working on that are part of the Windows 365, so Windows to Cloud uh, journey uh, as part of Windows 365, so. Well, it seems like it's going to be a really seamless experience where you, you don't even, you can't tell what's coming from the cloud and what's local. And that's correct. Like I always use the term, we are blurring the lines between Windows and Windows in the cloud. And that's exactly what, what we do with, with those experiences. And what would you suggest if somebody wants to learn more about what you talked about today, uh, what's a good starting point for them? Yeah, so I, I, would, I would recommend to go to agile.com or on Microsoft on our documentation page. There are lots of resources around the Agile partnership that you can find there too. But really go to agile.com or Disrupt EUC, the website, and look out for resources there. We just published some Win365 and uh, an Agile as uh, Better Together kind of white paper work as well there. So really, uh, yeah, take a look at that resource. resource. Well, great. I want to thank you for uh, coming and speaking with VM Blog today. and. Uh, we look forward to the rest of the show. Yeah, thanks for having me.